Hey, what's going on guys? John here, and today I wanted to do a video review for the Volway mirror-mounted dash camera. This is the MU12. So in this video, I'm gonna basically do a little bit of an idea of what's inside the box. I'll show you some of the settings and just give you some idea of what to expect with this dash cam. So this is basically what came inside the box here. Um, we have a full, very detailed instruction manual. It comes with all the mounting hardware, and then additionally, you also have a rear camera, which I have not installed here, so I won't be able to show that here for the demo, but you do have that as an option there's a really long wire and you could run this all the way through your trunk all the way out the rear of your car um, basically this has um, a few options for straps that are used to mount to your existing rear view mirror so these are the smaller straps I'm actually using the bigger ones I may have even been able to use these smaller ones but you have four hooks that go all the way around on each corner and as you can see my mirror um, is fairly good size but the camera itself is actually over on this side so you do need a little bit of space there so the camera actually can look out um, and not be going into the mirror itself. So you can see we have a little bit of overlap here on this side, but nothing crazy. It's almost barely even visible here for me as a driver. Um, the mirror itself is much larger and really is quite nice, honestly. So you can use this in many different ways. Um, mounting this, it basically just uses these straps on each side. You have a USB cable that then runs. I just kind of put it up through the visor for now and have it going down. I'll probably later on just tie it right on the uh, bar here, the pillar. And this then goes all the way into my um, car charger. You have quite a bit of slack on this wire. I can I have plenty here left that I could easily have it run all through the pillar there. Um, now this is the main camera just looking out in front of me in my driveway. It gives me um, how long this has been on, the date which I still need to set. You have many different options so if you go into this you will need to provide your own SD card. That's something that they do not include so you will need to get that. And you have many other options here. You can do voice recordings, pictures, you can do a video recording, this will playback video, you can do lock settings, you can connect this, um, you can enable Wi-Fi, so that way you actually have the ability to connect to the device, probably do updates or do other things as needed. Now if we go into the settings, this is where things get crazy. So we have our resolution settings, video length, um, we can record audio, which is obviously me talking. Um, you have a G sensor settings, parking guard, time lapse, um, there's even a setting for like license plates, screensavers, you have auto power off settings, the frequency, um, the tap sounds, which is what you're hearing as I'm hitting this, uh, the speaker volume, the boot up sound, so this actually has like a little chime when you start it up, language, date and time, reverse rear view, timestamp, voice control. Um, this includes a GPS, so you also have this piece here, and this has a mountable piece to mount up on the windshield, and this actually connects in, so it has a built-in GPS. Um, the Wi-Fi app, um, your speed units, uh, formatting the SD card, and then version settings. Um, you've also got your time zone settings, pretty much everything you could think of. This thing is really just chock full of settings. Um, ultimately, right now it's on recording mode. I wanna see if I can actually, so if I hit back, um, if we can get it to go into mirror mode, I think this might be um, for taking pictures here, but because I don't have the SD card, I really don't have the ability to do a lot of the settings currently. I didn't have one on hand, so I'll have to get one in order to utilize many of the settings that it's gonna want. Um, you can see your battery indicator here up at the top right and anything else that it's doing. You can also move the screen around and this will actually rotate the camera up or down, so if you need to adjust it, you can do that. But yeah, overall, it seems to be working really well. I like that um, this is all fully integrated and it's really something that, you know, as you're driving, obviously, you could either have this in recording mode or simply just use it as a standard mirror. So it's pretty heavy duty in terms of the settings and all the features. I do also need to remove, I had uh, the sticker here on the lens, so quality I probably got a little bit better there. But yeah, overall, very happy with this. I think this is a pretty awesome dash cam. If you're looking for something like this, you wanna have recordings going, you never know if you get into an, a car accident, something happens, um, you're talking to somebody in your car, you know, having that ability to have that recording, especially for both rear and front, um, could be pretty critical in you know winning an accident case or something like that happens and someone tries to blame you right you're gonna have proof so anyway thanks for watching and I hope you guys enjoy the video